Hey guys and welcome to Feywood. Um, I thought I'd do a video on this. We're uh, about to uh, clear out this cupboard area here and my husband's going to build some new shelves in here because um, you can sort of see it a little bit in the background there. I'll get some better footage. Um, but if you have been watching me for a while, you would remember that I had orange doors here uh, way back when I didn't have the air, air con, which I don't think you can see. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that air con unit got installed and then we couldn't um, open the cupboard doors. So we had to take them off and were forever trying to think about what we were going to do with that. Were we going to put doors like sliding doors on there or just cupboards or whatever. For my purposes, I think we're gonna um, we're gonna go for open shelving. I think that's better. Um, for sale purposes, we may have to put doors on it or something down the track, but we'll worry about that if that ever happens. Um, so basically, I'm going to be clearing out all this junk over here, uh, and then we'll put the cupboards in. So I thought I'd do a bit of a before and after type of thing. I am planning to do, uh, I think I've mentioned a few times, a full room tour, but there's so many things that have been happening and on the go. Uh, I'm still going on the some of the backdrop stuff, but there's been some other videos I've wanted to do that have interrupted that and some, you know, personal things that have taken up my time and that sort of thing. So um, eventually there will be a room tour, an updated room tour, um, once I've got a few things like these cupboards put in and the backdrop and then I think I'll do one and the room will probably change again because it's just like an evolving space but anyway I'll film a little bit um, and show you a close-up of the mess that's in there at the moment and then um, you know I'll sort of show the process a little bit and hopefully the final product eventually as well so let's get to it. All right, so this is the cupboard. Um, all this stuff used to be hidden by doors and you can see it's kind of spilling out anyway. Um, <laughs> and here as well. Uh, yeah, it's a real big mess right now. I have these like uh, shelves in there too that, cause it was just um, made for hanging clothes really. And we took the bar out, made a bit of a mess though. You can see the wood sort of, unfortunately it was glued a bit too well and Dan had trouble getting that off. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that yet. Um, so I've got to clear all this stuff out so my husband can come up here and install some cupboard, like make and install some cupboards. Uh, so I'll set you guys up somewhere to watch the process and then we'll come back when there's a little bit more progress. So you can probably see how inefficient the storage of this area is. Uh, everything's just piling out and it's really because it's just um, a sloping cavern shape and I had some shelves in there but there was no back to those shelves so things could fall behind them and it just wasn't well organized in general. It was a good way for me to um, go through all my stuff and see what I had back there as well and um, I noticed I had things stored in multiple places you know so it might be the same type of thing but stored in like three or four different places just because I was trying to fit things in where I could. So my goal is really um, to try and make better organization in this studio and group everything together better.
that's it for now. It's all cleared. I've rearranged a few things in the studio. Um, my husband needs to pretty much put the cupboards together in here, so I had to really clear out everything, which is challenging. <laughs> um, so I've tried to rearrange and just, I don't know, shove some things in awkward spots for now, just until I've got this done. Um, pretty much when it is done, I'm going to have to really think about where I want everything because then I'll have all my storage finally in place. So I really want to make sure everything's grouped together and organized where I can find it. Um, anyway, I will keep you guys updated with how this goes. Um, and I don't know if this will be one or two videos yet because I'll have to then organize everything as well. Um, so either you'll see me or you won't. <laughs> All right. See you soon. This is what my husband has built so far. These are the shelves that will have the um, shelves in them. So then I've got to paint them and install them once that's all done. So just a little update. A little bit behind the scenes. Um, I'll try and back up. This is the cupboard progress that my husband's making for me. You can see the uh, sort of L shape there, that bottom part's going to stick out, um, stick into the angled area, I guess, so that there's a deeper section at the bottom and I can put longer things there. We figured it'd be good for me to have some storage that's a bit longer, but I didn't want the whole thing to be too cavernous because things just get lost. So just having one section that's like that. All right, so the cupboards are done now. Um, Dan's been working on this most of today, actually. And these are the shelves sitting back here. He's uh, written the numbers on them and which area they correspond to, which is really helpful because then I'll know exactly where they go when I paint them, just in case they are slightly different. Um, he does that so that, you know, they'll fit perfectly. So I'm going to start painting these things. Um, I'm going to set you up on a time lapse to watch me do some of that. And then we'll start actually putting some stuff on them once it's all finished. But I think this might take me quite a while to paint. Uh, you can see the big cavernous area in there that he made for me so I could store some larger, like longer things. That's going to be really tricky to paint because I'm going to have to like climb in there basically to paint that. Uh, I'm using a Torbman's paint, which is like a an enamel. Um, I'll try and get one out. So in case anyone wants to use the same paint, this is the one that we ended up grabbing um, and it's just like a water-based enamel. He gave me a little um, tin opener as well, which is really nice. So yeah, that should be good. You don't see much of what I'm doing right now because I basically had to climb right into the cupboard to be able to paint the inside of this back part. Uh, these deep parts of the cupboard are to store some longer things that I've got. And I'm glad that we did it, but oh my lord, it was difficult. I did try and make sure to give it a couple of coats of paint uh, just so that it, it was definitely covered and none of the wood is showing through. This is MDF so it also protects it because MDF can tend to soak up water and expand and things if you don't properly paint it.
Now the size of it didn't really matter as much um, because it's going into that cupboard area you wouldn't see them but I did paint a little bit of the sides just in case you could see just the edge parts. The second half of the cupboards was built without the deep um, section of the cupboard so that was a lot easier. Now I tetrised this cupboard system so much. It was probably the most annoying game of Tetris I've ever played. I tried so many different combinations. My husband was at work when I was doing this and I was um, I had a working from home day I guess so, or working in the studio day. Um, yeah, I was messaging him, I was sending him pictures, I was like, these don't fit. I've just painted them and they don't fit and I tried so many different things and I could not get them to fit. So he came home and first thing he did was go up there. I hear banging, crashing, like I don't know what he did to get them in but thank god he actually got them in because I was getting really frustrated. <laughs> cupboards are in I tried so hard to get the cupboards in myself and was trying every different combination of um, there's two sections that I was like rearranging and I could not for the life of me get it in I was absolutely convinced there was no way that was going in but my husband managed to basically jam it up and then push the other one in uh, so yay <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to like repaint another cupboard and redo it and everything uh, so now I'm going to paint the shelves a bit more because I've only done like a couple of coats put those in and then uh, put all my bits and pieces in there as well so as soon as I knew the cupboard uh, shell part would fit I went about actually painting the shelves I could have painted them earlier, but I was really, really, really convinced that these weren't going to fit in there. Um, so yeah, Dan was a bit cocky after that once he was like, see, I told you they fit. Um, so I went about painting all the shelves. Somewhere in between painting them, um, the number system that Dan put on the back got a little bit obscured so I was just sort of trying to guess and fit things. I mean they should essentially be about the same size but they were a little bit slightly different. Um, also he did do the shelves at different heights for the two cabinets. At first we thought that would be a good idea and then when I saw it um, next to each other I thought maybe not but we decided just to leave it um, if I ever want to change the height we can he just drilled little holes and you can use those little um, push pin things for shelves like little shelf um, holders that you might have seen on other flat back furniture you can actually buy them in a packet and so we could change the heights to anything we want um, but once everything's in there, you don't really notice it, so I didn't really bother too much about that. So you can see some of these longer things that I'm popping in there. Um, big tubes of like tool and paper and um, all sorts of other bits and pieces that are just longer in length and more difficult to store so that's why we had those um, two longer shelves and that's all I really needed the rest could be just regular size I 
I also decided to move all my beads up into these shelves as well. Um, aside from my tubes, that is, which are on a different shelf. Uh, and I'll show you those when I do an actual studio tour. You'll see how I've got them all sorted now. Uh, but yeah, I put all my trays up here because it, it's a little bit easier to get hold of. I had them in um, these other like lower shelves with a sliding um, doors on them. And it was a little bit tricky to get in and out of. So I figure this will be a little bit easier. And what I'll do is I'll store my um, less used craft objects in those sliding drawers because uh, I don't, um, it's a little bit more hard to get hold of and I don't need to access them as often so it made more sense to put other things in there. So I'm going to leave it at that for this video. I've got a bit more organization to do um, but I think what I'll do is once I do um, all the things I'm planning to do in the studio at the moment I'm going to do a new studio tour so because I've got to really have a good think about how I'm doing the organization um, and that's going to be quite a big undertaking um, and I don't think I've got time for that at the moment so uh, we'll see how we go it might be still a few weeks before you see something like that from me um, but at least you've got to look at the cupboards that I'm putting in um, for now and then I'll show you around the studio in a bit more detail I've got some really good storage solutions I've been starting to implement and upgrade in the studio so I figured you, you might be interested to see uh, how the studio is developed basically so give a like if you want to see a video of an updated studio tour and I'll bring that to you as soon as I can all right thanks for tuning in guys hit subscribe if you want to see the studio tour and other videos that I bring to you guys all sorts of weird and wonderful things um, and I'll see the rest of you next time in Faywood. Bye guys!